Uh, well, I built that Death Watch base right under Margaret's base, so that I could mm-hmm. see the. I could keep an eye on the first Shadow Leviathan. That's what the scanner calls him. And then I got past him. I waited until he was not there and scooted past him and checked out the east side of the chamber. And there's another Shadow Leviathan there. And when I was looking in the scanner room in Death Watch, it showed me that the cave continues to plummet deeper and deeper to the southeast. And now I'm kind of at the edge of the purple crystals. I have carefully navigated past both Shadow Leviathans. And I am headed for 700 meters down, past a bunch of Kyanite, and now I'm seeing red crystals. And Alan just told me that he's having trouble scanning stuff down here. But he thinks there is uh, one of his people's facilities down here. There is the ugliest fucking butt donut looking plant. It just looks like a sphincter with Can't tentacles confirm. coming out of all sides of it. This is fucking gross. Mm-hmm. And Can't it's called confirm. an eclipse plant. It's like somebody ripped somebody's butthole out of their body. Literally a sphincter. <laughs> yep. It's upsetting. Charles. You were lucky you just came in now. I just passed the scariest fucking monster I've ever seen in Subnautica. Is this, uh... This the, is Subnautica 2. The two. other one? Mm-hmm. The, the, the below... The Cold World one? Yeah. What are you in? Why does it look like a train on the top? Um, it is called the Sea Truck. I hate it. I wish I had the Cyclops, <laughs> but Cyclops would probably not what? fit down here. <laughs> Your literal centipede is the li- li- yeah. See my uh, prawn. The, the prawn. It's <laughs> named the cock punch. But the cool thing about the truck is that it has this last module which holds the prawn. This next module which has storage lockers. The next module which has a fabricator. And then this thing pulls it. This is like the engine of the train. See, How pre- deep into this game have you been? Have you finished it? Or is this, this is, this is this- eighty. This is eighty percent through the plot, I think. Okay. And these red this crystals we've not really seen before. Right? Yeah, they you can't actually finish the plot. I'm gonna hit a cock block here soon. 800 meters down. There's a shadow leviathan ahead too. Jesus, you getting that, Charles? Mm-hmm. That's the biggest thing I've ever seen in this game. There's another one down here. Fuck. Okay. What other big machine contraptions in this game other than the sea truck? This is the biggest vehicle you get in this one. Oh, the first one you get the Cyclops, which is awesome. That's my alien friend, Alan. Oh, we need to go dark for a second. We're good. If I stand in the middle of the sea truck and I'm absolutely still, he doesn't seem to aggro. right in this fucking patrol path, too. There's no other way to go. I don't see any evidence of this facility Alan's talking about. Okay. Okay. This fucking thing... I might just have to zap him to get past this. I'm gonna zap him. Okay, it did nothing. It did nothing. It did nothing. And I'm out of the sea truck. That was a mistake. Jesus. We're good. No problem. Everybody's fine. <laughs> no problem. No big deal. No big deal. It's just sitting on top of the sea truck right now. Not leaving. Okay, so zapping it did just nothing. It didn't even let go. 
I thought I could back up into the center chamber of the siege. Okay. Why is it so quiet? Okay, he's still here. He just fucking went silent, hiding next to the sea truck. You piece of shit. God, I need a stasis rifle. I can't even, like, take control of the truck right now. He's so close. Yeah, go kill a little fish. <laughs> piece of shit. You sure as fuck can't outrun him because this thing is slow as shit. It's terrible. I hate this vehicle. <sighs> and now it starts the fucking music. You know what? I might just get on the prawn and fucking Spider-Man through here. I've about had enough fucking with this guy. Can't tell if he's gone or just being incredibly quiet. I think he's being quiet. Okay, looks like he can't get down into the crystals to the right of me about 50 meters away. These crystals, these red crystals are all kind of square, rectangular angles connecting to each other. Like, and they're all perpendicular angles that they connect to each other. So it almost looks constructed, but I guess it's some gigantic model of a molecular structure. Uh, and they're sort of various shades of red from almost black crimson to bright glowy red. Okay, we're going to try to sneak into the crystals right next to us. Go, 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 go. Nope. Oh, zap worked that time, but there's fucking two of them. There's another one right fucking here. Just going to jet past them. 900 meters. I see an alien facility going straight at it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Eat a dick. Whoever is near me. Oh my god. They might break the truck. Nope. Okay. We are parked at the alien facility. Everything's great. No problems. No problem. Everything's fucking awesome. There's two giant monsters right outside. Uh, you know, no big deal. I'm just, uh... In here, you know, having a cup of coffee. Everybody's fine. Kind of hungry. There we go. Have a little snack. While Screamcore Crotch Goblin is just sitting on top of us. Go the fuck away. I don't understand why they won't leave. You shouldn't be able to sense me in here. It must be like movement based or something like that, because it. Well, I kind of leave you alone once you stop moving. I'm holding still in the center of the sea truck. And he's still swimming nearby. Yeah, but he's not like ripping your sea truck apart. That's a good deal, at least. Yeah. And he doesn't attack. The trouble is, the sea truck's at an angle where I can't see him. It has a tiny window out the back, which the prawn is blocking. Okay, I can kind of see one of them. One of them is fairly far away. Okay. Going for it. Getting in the prawn. Grappling for the alien facility. Oop, it didn't work. Uh, what the fuck? The prawn cannot go in? The prawn literally cannot go in. Fuck you, game. The first structure the prawn could go in. The first game the prawn could go inside. Oh my god. I think I just got a in and out bug. Nope, I'm in the water again. This is the fabrication facility. Oh, Jesus where we Christ. Construct my next form. We must first locate all the necessary components. You should focus on that. You didn't even know what this place was, but you're telling me what to focus on? Yeah. I'm trying to encourage you. Okay, so I came down here for nothing. Pretty pumped about that. 
Got into the alien airlock. I'm standing in one of those big, wide alien hallways, like 30 meters wide and 15 meters high, made out of their strange greenish black metal. Sort of very shiny and glossy. Stepping into the next room is a huge chamber. 150 meters in diameter, probably 400 meters long, and it is fucking cylindrical. It's got sort of dim green lighting. There's a huge, what looks like a fish tank in the center. It's a giant water tank bubbling up from the bottom. There's some empty specimen jars that could hold like a person-sized thing. There's a console in the center that does not respond to my presence. There's a fish swimming through the air because it's early access. Okay. This is Architect Component Fabricator. There's three of these. There's two of them that are lit up. I guess those are the parts I already have. Architect Skeleton. I need polyaniline, synthetic fibers, and aerogel. I don't have any synthetic fibers. Architect Tissues. I need magnetite, titanium, and lithium. That I could do. Okay, so this room really is useless. Until we find the third thing, and I am very sad. There's nothing else in here. And I have to get past those fucking maniacs to get out of here. Or I could teleport back up top to the sea truck module and just leave all my vehicles right here. <laughs> so the teleport is useless. Okay. Okay. 